How's it going everyone? My name is Bailey and I'm here to talk about the Beats X Bluetooth earbuds. Uh, first things first, I'm going to make this really quick. They have a great 8 hour battery life, uh, which is good for if you drive a lot. Um, they have Bluetooth 4.0 I believe. Uh, battery of up to 8 hours, 5 minute charge time, which is this fast fuel thing that everybody's been everybody has been talking about sorry about that um if you plug it in let's say they're dead they're drained the headphones are drained right so if you plug it in at zero percent then the uh the headphones will charge up to 25 percent within five minutes and from zero percent you can actually charge them fully like in like 20 minutes right so that's amazing so let's uh, I'm trying to do this in a straight shot by the way uh, removable secure fit wing tips so that's these little guys right here uh, I have these small ones installed on there and then the medium ear tips are pre-installed what comes in the package is uh, multiple ear tips uh, the small and the large size wing tips uh, it comes with some paperwork obviously you know that it comes with a beats sticker obviously you know that if you've bought beats or apples products um, they always come with stickers anything comes with stickers nowadays who am I kidding um, it has a flex form flex form cable uh, which is this guy here and that just sits around your neck and flexes and forms to your neck. And once you take it off, you can actually see what I'm doing here. It doesn't even tangle. Like that's the flex in it. They're very noise isolating. If you turn your music up to like half, it's, it's pretty good. Um, like it tones out most of the noise. Like you can barely hear uh, cars outside uh, if you're walking or riding your bike for that matter. Uh, and it has a music control rocker, which you might know. See, there's the play pause button in the middle or answer and end phone calls. It's got a little microphone on the back. I'm quite ups I'm a little upset that they didn't uh, put the Beats logo on the back there like they did with the headphones. Um, but yeah, there's an up and down, up and down. And some people have been saying that it doesn't have indication of which is left and which is right. Like this guy right here. Tap focus. Focus. Come on. This guy right here, it says right. <laughs> this guy right here, it says left. So there you go. That's the uh, indication of uh, the earbuds. And it comes with a fancy schmancy little silicone case here. It has a little Beats logo there. Uh, it's a little squishy. It also comes with its own lightning cable as you guys might have saw there. So let me just get that out for you. There we go, see? A little six inch uh, lightning cable. So if you do have lightning cables laying around, or you're an Android user and you don't have lightning cables for whatever reason, uh, there you go. Plus it's got the Beats logo on it, which is sick, dude. Um, so yeah, they do charge uh, via lightning cable. Uh, so to connect them, hold the button for five seconds. Uh, this guy right here is the button. It feels pretty good. Uh, you definitely know or you can tell that it's there and uh, there's the charge port and of course it says beats there the light isn't that bad uh, like in the nighttime it's it's quite dim because it shines down onto here um, and when it's charging it shows a red light and then within 20 minutes it's a white light and then if you wake up in the middle of the night then you're like what the hell is that and then you gotta unplug them um, so would I recommend them? Absolutely, but that's just my opinion. Uh, some people like to uh, tell everybody that Beats are overpriced. 
obviously people that buy beats know that they're expensive and they don't need everybody telling them that beats are overpriced or that they sound like junk they don't sound like junk other people might have tried different kinds uh, like different styles of beats that might have sounded bad but that's just them and that's their hearing probably uh, I like beats I have the beats mixers and I bought those like two three years ago and they are still looking brand new so that's pretty good and then I have now the Beats X Bluetooth earbuds, which I bought on February 27th, which is a day, I think it was release day or a couple days after release day uh, for the Beats X. And uh, I'm happy with them. I'm gonna keep them for a long time. They're gonna, I take care of my stuff. So in Canada, they are $203.34. Um, that's including tax and free shipping on Apple's website. So, yeah, definitely, uh, if you have the money, pick them up and try them for yourself or go, uh, ask a friend if they have them and try them there to see if you like them. Uh... If you don't have the money, if you don't want to buy Beats, then don't buy them and don't tell people that Beats are overpriced just because that you don't like them. Um, everybody has their own opinion and that's me saying that and I don't care about people's opinions all that often. Like, oh, uh, you should do this. Uh, no, I like to do it my way. Um, unless it's like, oh, I suggest like, if I'm working on something, uh, yeah, you might want to do it that way because it's way easier. Okay, I'll try that. Um, if you're suggesting it nicely, not if you're like, oh, I do it this way, so you should do it this way. It's like, mm, mm -mm, my way is easier, bud. Uh, so yeah, everybody has their own opinion. So uh, this has been my review and rant on people's opinions uh, for the Beats X and other things. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and this is going to be a straight shot, so don't complain. Um, because I know that it's going to be a straight shot and I know it's probably a little bit bad. But I need to get a video out, and I hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.